All right, hi everyone, and uh, welcome back to the Rhino Inside Revit demo. In this case, I'm gonna show how you can use Grasshopper to interact with Revit objects, Revit elements, and in this case, a wall system family. And it hopefully open up some ideas on how you might be able to use uh, Revit and Rhino together to smooth out some of your workflows. In this case, um, I'm in Revit 2019, and I'll open this wall roof Revit file. And you can see here, it's just a couple uh, standard walls in Revit. And um, we'll, we'll get to our rhinoceros uh, tab here, and we'll start Grasshopper. So we have a blank definition running in Revit. So we'll open the example script, which is wall roof Grasshopper definition. And it's just a simple definition. We have a couple Revit edges that we are parameters. Let me show you where those are. Um, if we go to params, we have some special Revit aware parameters that we can use to pick up out of Revit and have Grasshopper interactive with them. In this case, I used edge right here. And so what this is going to do is let me just explain this. We, we're going to grab a couple edges. It's going to loft between those edges. And that loft will show up as an sample over in Revit. And then when I activate this by geometry piece, it's actually going to create a real Revit roof out of that geometry. But let me kind of show you how this works. So I'm going to just say set one Revit edge. And uh, we can pick that. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to set this Revit edge. So I right click on that. I can go pick that edge right there. And now you can see what we have is it's creating a preview geometry. This is Grasshopper drawing this preview in Revit. And what's nice about this is because Grasshopper is driving this, if I'm in Revit here and I adjust this wall, for instance, you can see how Grasshopper updates the roof. And so it allows you to edit using Revit, but have Grasshopper actually actively update the preview. Now, if I want this to be more than just a preview, a grasshopper preview object, what I can do is I can go into this definition here and I will right click on add direct shape by geometry piece and I will enable it. And I'm actually gonna turn the preview off on the loft. And now what you have is that based on, it's creating a direct shape based on or into the roofs category and it's still live geometry. So if I come in here and I adjust the uh, Revit object here, you can see that the roof itself updates because Grasshopper is still driving that roof shape. It's important to understand that when you're actually instantiating a Revit object on the fly here, when you're doing this, this, this piece all the time, it actually is a little bit slower than just using the preview object. And so you'd want to do this kind of at the end of your process as you're messing around with it a lot. You can just use the loft preview and that'll be much, much faster. But you can see here how we were able to use edges and we could grab elements, things like that in Grasshopper and use those in a, from Revit and use those in a definition in Grasshopper and have Grasshopper actually output a Revit object on the other side. So in this way, we can uh, use Revit objects as input to Grasshopper definitions. So hopefully you can uh, maybe think of some ways that that might be helpful to you. And um, again, the sample file is here on the links on the video. And uh, hopefully this is something that might be helpful. So thank you.